Hi, I'm Dave, CTO of DVS, and I'm with Steve. Wesley, Head of Sales of Securix. Welcome to their stand, and what a beautiful stand it is, Steve. So you're a video compliant fire detection system, is that the best way to say it? Compliant video flame detection that, that is probably the best way to, to, to put it, yeah, absolutely. And you're going to show us some of your fantastic technology here, so our customers, your customers, all our customers, can get a better insight into what this solution can provide for them and their applications. It would be my pleasure, yeah. So start with some of these lovely looking cameras up here. Okay, well, first thing to mention is um, with compliant video flame detection, you're going to require battery backup and fire rated cable. That's probably one of the most important. That's things really important, actually. Very, very, very important. Very, very Hence important. the fire rated cable right. in front of you. <laughs> lovely done by Matt. <laughs> Absolutely. So. Um, it's been difficult getting the product into the market five or six years ago. If you're talking a, a camera and an MVR, it's not something that the fire industry is going to yeah. uh, respond to particularly well. So the impressive part is actually the fire system that sits behind it. So it, it doesn't really matter that our detectors can see fire at 180 meters in less than 10 seconds. The impressive part is the fact that it has fire rated cable and it's battery backed. That way, it means that it complies to BS5839. And that's and really important. Really, right? really, really important. It's approved by insurers and consultants, and it means that it can be used in all sorts of different types of environments. Yeah. We're primarily focusing on industries uh, where you've got, and sectors where you've got locations with contamination, excessive heights, access issues, uh, th those areas where standard detection methods just aren't really suitable or are put in because they're the best thing that is available at the time. So we've got a, a different, a number of different detectors in the range. Um, the, 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 our, our main detector is the, is the XFP. The XFP is usable indoors and outdoors. And then we've got more sort of specialist detection systems with the, with the zero FP that uh, is primarily... That's a lovely unit, that one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's boxy, but it, it's there to do a job. And uh, it's, it's basically one of these in a, um, in a box with some insulation and, and, a, and a heater, essentially. Um, go ahead and... and, 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 and this is the up. best. The, the big reveal. This is the big reveal. This is one of my favorite things. Get a look in there, Martha. Get a close up. So as you can see where Steve was talking about with the battery backup, everything is dressed in with a fire cable. You've got the power supplies, the network switches for the cameras. You've got the video recorder, which obviously the fire cameras are obviously shown also on this video recorder here. So uh, there you go. Yep, hello. Um, but you can see this sort of cabinet here is typical of what you'd install on a site like a centralized hub, you'd call that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this is, this is our main control hub. And as, as, as Dave's all perfectly put it, you've got our, our controller, the MVR. This all comes pre-built, configured and tested for 24 hours uh, before it arrives with our customers on site. Um, so it's fully tested. So all our customers need to do is uh, put the detectors in predetermined locations that we've decided uh, on behalf of the customer th through working with the customer um, and our design process. Um, locate the cameras where they're supposed to be located, put in the control hub, run the cables back to the control hub. This is actually a six channel control hub. So you're limited to six detectors. When you go over six detectors, you're actually going to require one of our uh, uh, extension hub here, and uh, the extension hub is, uh, is, is used for additional devices. We'll, we'll open this one up as well. So you can see there, that's uh, what the extension hub would look like. Again, battery backed up, all dressed in with a fire cable, network switches, power supplies, etc. And how many cameras typically do you see on a on a on, a, on an average system? Would you uh, say, Steve? A typical, a typical system is somewhere between um, eight eight to ten. In, uh, cameras or detectors. Um, nowadays, we're actually putting in 65 detectors into frozen storage facilities. But generally, you'd find you know a, a waste site of, of, of normal size is normally covered by about six or seven detectors, something like that. Um, you know, if you think about the long range that you get uh, from uh, fr from our detectors, any, anything up to 180 meters, it just means that you you know you can cover large open spaces with a, with very few very few detectors. And I think the difference for the people that don't know about your product where you've got other products on the market like thermal analytics, etc. Yep. You're using video, infrared detection, AI, all sort of together uh, really absolutely. a little bit. Yeah, we, we call it dual lens technology. So we're looking for the physical presence 
of flame. We're not looking for byproducts of fire, so we're not looking for temperature and we're not looking for smoke. Primarily because the environments in which we're focusing on have an awful lot of other things in those environments that are hot, running hot or other areas where you've got contamination or, or legitimate uh, forms of smoke that can obviously yeah. uh, provide false alarms on those types of systems. So we think the best way to look for fire is to look for the flame itself. Uh, and once you've got, got a confirmation of a flame, that's when we trigger the alarm and, 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 uh, and, and call in the brigade, as it were. Well, thank you, Steve, for a brilliant overview, no, overview of your range. And no if you problem. do want to know more about their product range, please do contact Steve or any of the Securix team or DVS. And we'll be more than happy to run through the solution. It's a very unique solution in the marketplace, but a very powerful one. And we're excited about the journey and what this solution can provide that no other solution in this place can provide. Stay tuned for more content. Thank you, Dave.